Hello everybody, it's Farm Sim Guy here, hope you're all doing well. We are back on Yukon River Valley, and tonight we're looking at mining, basically, and just going through some of the factories and how they work, and uh, taking things from there. So, we're going to start with the dirt processing plant. Um, I've got a load of dirt here from the mine over there. We're actually up here at the Northport Dirt Processing Plant. There are three on the map. Uh, there's one down here uh, on the bend of the river. And there is also one up in the higher mountains up here near the Highland Mine as well. So you've got three choices where you collect your dirt from. But they all do, uh, in principle, do the same thing. So what you do is you basically roll up next to the dirt processing plant here. Uh, and you can unload... A load of dirt in here as you did with the uh, as you did with the gold mine the nice thing about this one is you can tip uh, it's a much bigger dumping place but you can unload your dirt into there and what you'll get out of here I'll just let that finish so once you've unloaded your dirt into into the unload point uh, you can go along here to this little uh, office you can have a look inside and it will actually tell you uh, what your inputs are dirt there and it'll tell you what your outputs are. And there are four outputs, ore, tailings, gravel, and sand. So if we head out here, there's your gravel, there's your sand, there is your tailings. And if you remember, tailings were part of the process from the gold mining tutorial as well. And over here, processed in a slightly different way, is an unload point for ore. Now, these are all, there we go, loading up already, these are all um, elements that you can then use to manufacture different things. So um, the reason I'm going to talk to you tonight about uh, four, four different processes is because they're all kind of interlinked. So dirt, uh, dirt processing is very much your first one. Uh, and the outputs from that will create either cement, concrete, or steel, or a mixture of those ingredients will make those three uh, outputs. So uh, if this is our point for getting our our raw ingredients if you will um, we all move on now to have a look at some of the factories that you can use to make different stuff now one of the reasons I picked this dirt processing plant is because we also have here um, the steel manufacturing point and the cement manufacturing point now to make cement um, what you need to do is scoop up first of all sand and second of all um, is tailings. So what we'll do now, if we pop, we should be able to just unload these into here, like so. There we go. Some sand in there. Maybe grab another bucket as well, just so we, we create a decent amount. Once again, using this uh, cat loader from 4MR Modding, which is fantastic. Go and pick this up from his Facebook page. Um, let's unload that in there. And we'll go and get a couple of loads of tailings as well. Now, obviously, you can load these into a truck if you want. You've also got the train line here as well. So it's very, very feasible for you to load things up from here and move them down to different parts of the map as well. Um, again, we'll not go into that in this episode or this uh, video just because there's actually quite a lot to cover. If I'm going to cover four different processes... Um, but as you can see, the dirt process itself quite quickly, if you remember when we looked into the gold mining, um, the actual process of separating and washing that dirt took a, a fair bit longer than it does for just uh, processing the dirt normally. So there you go, we've added the tailings in there, you can see the orange light has started to flash, which tells you the factory is in operation. And again, if we jump into the global company's menu, uh, we'll just grab another load here. But if you jump into the global companies menu, into the cement processor and open overview, you will now see a very small amount, 1% and 1% of each in there. Uh, but that's uh, on an auto start, so it's activated the factory straight away and started working on it. So there we go, second load of tailings in there. So if you jump into here, you can actually sell uh, all of these as raw ingredients as well. So there's your coal, there's dirt. As you can see, the price for dirt is incredibly low. Uh, and then you're into gravel, sand, um, there's your ore, and there's your tailings um, as other raw ingredients. And then you can keep going up here, um, and then you're into 
steel, gold, cement, and concrete as well. So uh, well worth looking into those um, because you start to see the price goes up. So those constituent parts added together start to make much more lucrative products. So uh, it's a decision for you whether or not you want to um, do it that way uh, or just sell uh, the parts separately. Um, that's the beauty of it, isn't it? So we've just grabbed a little truck here and we'll run this over and uh, I will just show you. I think we just reverse underneath um, underneath here and we will get our cement out. But as you can see there, it's telling you how much is already created. So if I reverse under here and hit R to load, there we go, 26,000 litres of cement already. So all good now obviously the other option is you can load this up onto the train um, there is a loading point for cement just here so you can load it into one of the carriages and you can run that down to the concrete production point so cement uh, on its own uh, is a is a product that you've made from your raw ingredients but actually it's still required in uh, another element that we can make which is concrete which I'll talk about in a little minute so there we go very quickly um, that's dirt covered and your base ingredients or your your base manufacturing elements uh, you've already turned that into cement by just adding sand and tailings to the cement making factory okay now let's take a look at steel now for steel you need three inputs you need coal obviously for heat, sand, and ore. So, like I said before, the ore is produced here, and it is another output from uh, dirt. Okay, so we're gonna load some ore straight into the bucket of this uh, this loader, just for ease. Um, and what we're gonna do, we are gonna run this straight into the processing plant. And what you do is you pop it into the hopper at the far end, as you did with the gold mining. So we'll just uh, put a little bit of this in here. Uh, and we'll be doing the same with the sand as well. There we go, it was too far forward. But there we go, or unloaded into there. Uh, we also need coal. So we'll go and get a little bit of coal. Um, I have actually just dumped a load here. But again, from the coal mines, um, this is where this gets really interesting because, I mean, you can literally run the whole economy, um, but you have to travel over the map. There is no coal near to this, so you have to do some transporting and some means of getting uh, these elements to uh, to the different processing plants. Uh, but I guess that's, uh, that's part of the fun, isn't it, on a big map? So uh, we'll unload the coal in here now as well. There we go. So there we go. Coal in as well. And the final one is sand. So we'll just go and get some sand. So there we go, a bucket load of sand from our pile of sand there. Let's try not to drive with the bucket that high. So we will drop this in as well. Uh, and as with all the global companies mods, um, you can jump into the Control G global companies menu mod and check that you've got all your uh, constituent parts added. Uh, but as with all of these things, you can see the little digital readouts as well. So if I come around here, you can see now that all three elements are in there and working. Um, so it has everything that it needs. And this is usually a dead giveaway is that you'll get a flashing light up here too. So we've got that. So we know everything's in and we know everything's working. So it's just a waiting game now, and it will, I expect, take a little bit longer for steel to be produced uh, than it would for uh, the dirt. So um, we'll give it a little bit of time, and uh, we'll see how we go. So there we go, we bumped time forward a little bit, and there we go, a rather large amount of steel bars. Um, 15,000 litres, 30,000 litres in total. Um, so those can be sold on uh, as an end product, which is great. And you get some pretty tidy prices for them. There you go, Royal Port Sales, $4,100 per thousand litres. So uh, a nice little earner. And again, all of these 
can be loaded onto uh, the train. Now cement is also used in the production of concrete. Now the concrete processing plant is in a different part of the map, but it is on a train line. So you can load up your cement and you can run it down to the concrete processing plant via train. So that speed things up a little bit. But let's, um, let's go and have a look at the concrete processing plant now. So here are the concrete plant. As you can see, we're just loading up some gravel there. Um, the other things you need to add are sand, tailings, and around the corner here is our cement. Now we have made cement uh, up at the cement factory, and we have the other elements as raw ingredients. So what we'll do, we'll just fill these up quickly, and uh, we will be back. Okay, for the final one, rather than using a truck, I have brought some uh, cement down on the train from uh, the other processing plant. Now if I roll along here, you have to have the right carriage selected on the train, but if I slow up now, I should any second now get a trigger point, which will allow us to unload. There we go. That truck from the train of cement, you can see it coming out now. And you can see the light going on in the concrete factory, which means it's starting to produce the final product. Now these uh, these, these trucks hold 750,000 litres, so you can get a serious, serious amount of stuff uh, being moved about if you need to, which is fantastic. Okay, so there we go. Our light is flashing. Uh, our train is unloaded now, so we have all four of our base elements added. As you can see, the numbers there are all in. 750,000, which is one load from that truck, like I said. Um, so we're really just waiting now. Um, it's a little bit of uh, time is what's needed. There's the readout, which will tell you when the concrete will be arriving. So let's speed time up a little bit uh, and you can see things uh, double. There we go. And it doesn't take too long. There we go. In the space of an hour in game, uh, we have got quite a lot in there. So what I'll do, I'll jump in the truck now and we'll get it unloaded. Like I said, there is another dirt processing plant here uh, so you can get your all of virtually all of your main ingredients except for cement cement has to come from the other place so uh, with that in mind it might be more prudent to uh, do your dirt here do your dirt processing here and um, and then ship the cement down on the train but let's roll this under here like this hit R and there we go concrete and quite a lot of it So there you go, that is how you make concrete. Like I said, all of these are quite easy. I mean, the process of creating these is a lot simpler than it was for um, for gold. A lot less steps involved. But uh, at the same time, really good fun. So there you have it, a quick overview of dirt processing, cement production, concrete production, and steel production on Yukon River Valley. It is pretty straightforward for these ones. The there's a lot less processes here and a lot less steps than there was in the gold manufacturing but a lot of fun all of the same and if you want to give mining a go i would suggest this is probably a decent place to start uh, everything's here remember um, you have to own the land for the factories to work and be able to operate the factories they won't show up in your global company's menu if you haven't done that but other than that pretty straightforward pretty simple go buy some massive equipment and go and have some fun digging some stuff up um there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, we'll cover off a few of the last factories in another episode very, very soon. But for now, from me, the Farm Sim Guy, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.